I'm Conrad Ray. Uh, I'm the director of men's golf and general manager at the Stanford Golf Course. Ann Walker, and we are at the Siebel Varsity Golf Training Complex on the Stanford campus. I start pretty early. I'm kind of a morning person. Uh, get a little coffee under my belt, usually in the office by 7.30. 7, 7.30, laying out um, kind of the schedule of the day for the team, but also thinking about um, kind of one step ahead. Uh, you know, we're, we're tra planning travel, we're planning practices, uh, we're planning kind of team activities. Um, I also wear this second hat uh, as a general manager of the Stanford Golf Course, and so thinking about hot topics that I can help with in that regard too, uh, just to make sure our operation's running smoothly. home to both our men's and women's golf teams, so that's 20 athletes. Uh, we have four coaches and a director of operations. Additionally, we have a great maintenance crew, so there's always people around. It's a fun group. Uh, the doors are always open. Everyone kind of has open door policy. The TVs are always going in, and if not, usually Coach Ray is pumping his uh, country music through the Sonos. <laughs> Let's see if I can get Okay, um, so I guess I guess uh, we can start here. Um, as we walk over here, you can see our Siebel Varsity Golf Training Bay. Uh, what's fun about this is it's a one-stop shop for all things Stanford Golf. So we can do club repair. Uh, we can use our Zoom TV uh, for internet lessons with coaches from all over the world. You have to see some of our greats on the wall. We do some fitness in here. Uh, when we have inclement weather, we have a simulator in here so we can actually play Stanford Golf Course on Sim, which is pretty cool. Trackman's been a big supporter of ours. This training bay is really fun because we get a lot done in it. You can see here as we walk in, we've got the, the women's program on the left side, the men's program on the right side, uh, a collection of some of our trophies over the years. Um, there's also some neat memorabilia on the walls, some, some history from some of our greats. It's, uh, it's really a fun place because our, our both teams are able to uh, spend time together, uh, celebrate uh, both programs at the same time and, and get to know each other, have some good competitive practices and break it down, if you will. We like to have the, the facility stocked with all the goodies here. You know, there's, if you're hungry, just open a drawer. Um, you know, you guys aren't going hungry, that's for sure. Uh, we have a, it's great because we stock this fridge with, with goodies for the team, some fresh uh, fruit, uh, yogurt, some chocolate milk, the Uncrustable, which is like the college golf staple. Um, can't eat enough of those, but it's fun for the, for the teams. They can always stock their bags and be ready to go. Come on out, we'll show you the rest of the facility here. They just walked out of the building. Uh, this is the, the big putting green, the main putting green on the Siebel Varsity Golf Training Complex. 22,000 square feet here for putting. Uh, the design concept here is that we have a lower part that is at a one degree slope and is for, used for flat putts and kind of drills and uh, working on the putts. And then at the top, um, we have a bunch of undulation and different slopes that you can use to practice kind of any putt that you might have on tricky, challenging greens that we see in competition. Because the two teams are the only people really using it, the idea is that you can go anywhere on the facility and drop a bag of balls and practice so you can find whatever wind condition that you might like, any sort of sun angle, different grasses on the greens, different gradients of sand in the bunkers. We have a great brand partnership with TaylorMade. They've been a phenomenal partner. We've been with the company now two years. And just the support from top to bottom, they're supportive of both our athletes individually, but also our programs and our initiatives. I think what we feel from them is just a genuine commitment to the game of golf. The TaylorMade team, they go above and beyond. There's, they're 24 seven and they say yes to everything. And then when I think about how that aligns with our programs, our university, and what we try to do from an innovative standpoint, uh, and be out front thinking in new ways to do do different things, do them better, maybe do them like no one's ever done them before. I think our entire university has crafted its own name and its own brand from doing that over many decades. 
And then when I think of our programs, our players, that's kind of how they come to work every day. They come to practice every day, not wanting to be one of many, but they want to be the one. I actually came out here as a walk-on. My freshman year, we won the national championship uh, in 93 and 94, and had a chance to play around players, meet people, carry Tiger's luggage, uh, you know, do all those things on the Stanford golf team. I always say Tiger gets a lot of credit for his work ethic, but he works really smart too. And he always has, even since he was a junior golfer, college golfer, and all the way through. And, you know, we like to think that aligning with TaylorMade has been a great move because of that. I, I look at the work that TaylorMade puts into research and development and uh, player support and um, having their pulse on the market. And, uh, you know, to me, it's just a great brand all the way around. You look at the other players that are associated with the brand, it's really neat to be part of that and to have Stanford golf and, and our Stanford athletes be uh, small pieces in that, that bigger puzzle that make up a really neat, uh, innovative, kind of top of the line brand. With a win at the conference championship, I think this team uh, will ride momentum. Uh, they, they like to be confident and feel good about where things are at. And I think if you can use that in the right way, you know, you're not getting too confident, but you feel like, hey, you have that tough shot to execute on, tough situation, anything, any conditions coming your way weather-wise, that you're going to be fine. And, you know, it's one thing to kind of go to a national championship hoping you can win. It's another, you know, going there with confidence that you have a really good chance to play well because you've put in the time and the effort and the work to get there. I think heading in the Nationals, really we try to channel patience. I think patience is a competitive advantage and I think a lot of people, it takes incredible discipline to be patient and so that's something we work hard at. We don't assume and just throw the word patience around but it's been my experience that teams that fare well at the National Championship, they understand that it truly is a marathon. It's an endurance sport, it's a long week and it isn't won or lost in the first day like maybe some people think it is. Uh, so we channel that a lot. The best way to be patient in my estimation is to be well prepared and have great faith in your, the confidence in your competence and competence comes from preparation.